This is one of the best all-arounder laptops that I have seen on my channel in quite a while. It's thin and light, which provides you with great portability on the go friendly. However, that comes with a little bit of compromise, which I'll talk about in just a few minutes. It has great performance. It's packed with an RTX 4070 GPU, but it also provides you with just over 11 hours of battery life. Now, this laptop is a really great buy, but a lot of you probably haven't taken the time to consider it. And so that's why I like to keep it a little bit hidden as we dive into the performance. Now, looking at the simulated benchmarks, you can see that it does not have the most outstanding simulated benchmarks in either Geekbench single core or multi-core, as well as Cinebench 2024 single core and multi-core. However, where I start to get impressed with this laptop is going to be in video editing. You can export a nine minute 4K clip in two minutes and 31 seconds, which is on par with some of the top performing gaming laptops with less battery life. You can play back 6K B-RAW footage with less drop frames than Lenovo Legion Pro 5i at 235 versus about the mid 300s with Lenovo Legion Pro 5i. For the 6K export, however, it's gonna be almost 19 minutes. That is one thing I would say is a little on the long side for a laptop that is really well optimized for 6K video editing. So this laptop will be something I would consider for more 4K video editing, 1080p, creator work, because it does have a 4K, very color accurate OLED display, keep in mind. And it provides really great ventilation here on the bottom cover of the laptop, which keeps your laptop cool under heavy workloads. Now, another area I would say it does well is in Photoshop. You score a 6,550, which is on par with something like Lenovo Legion Pro 5i or the Alienware M16R2, which I'm both huge fans of. And then you look at 3D modeling, and though this should get more performance, with the RTX 4070, you have to consider that it's thin and light. And so in order for this thing to not spool up the fans to an insanely loud noise and overheat the laptop and make them make it thicker to make it cool better, they've gone ahead and thermal throttled it a little bit. And like I said, it's the best all around laptop. So the results for Autodesk 3ds Max are 180. It's below 200. I like to see laptops at 200 or above if I'm like, yes, that is a killer. 3D modeling laptop. It's a good 3D modeling laptop. We have a 206 in PTC Creo and a 276 in Autodesk Maya, just below the kind of 300 killer uh, Autodesk Maya benchmark for laptops. And then of course, SolidWorks at about 100. All good scores, which is why it's a great all around laptop. This is none other than the MSI Prestige 16 AI. This is the new 2024 model, magnesium alloy chassis. Like I mentioned earlier, very thin and light and also has great connectivity. Take a look at the ports on the MSI Prestige 16 AI. You can see we have our RJ45 network port, SD card reader and our headphone jack along the left side. On the back side, we have our HDMI. Now this is a 2.1 HDMI. We have a USB type A 3.2 Gen 2. And we also have two USB type C's. And both of these are Thunderbolt 4 and have power delivery charging. And on the right side, we have our Kensington lock. For a laptop that's so thin and light and packs an RTX 4070, we do have really solid connectivity on this laptop. One thing that also makes this laptop a great on-the-go laptop is this small 140 watt charger block. This thing's super easy to toss in your bag. It doesn't take up a ton of space and it's very light. This is rare for an RTX 4070 to have such a nice small condensed charger block. So that's a nice feature as well. Looking at the models and availability on the MSI Prestige 16 AI, what we're seeing here is the Intel Core Ultra 7 with 32 gigs of RAM for $1399. Now they do have the Intel Core Ultra 9 with 16 gigs of RAM. However, personally, I would choose the Core 7 over the Core 9 in this situation because of the RAM. You're going to get much more opportunity to have bottlenecks if you have less RAM compared to having a higher CPU. Now, the thing is with the Ultra 7 versus the Ultra 9, they actually have the same cores and threads. So to me, the better pick at this level would be the 32 gigs of RAM with the Ultra 7. However, if you need a dedicated GPU, somebody who's going to be doing some video editing, light 3D modeling, I would go for the Ultra 9 with the RTX 4070, 32 gigs of RAM, and 2 terabytes of SSD. 
Keep in mind, this is the model I'm using in this review. So this is what you're going to see benchmarks for. Now the Ultra 7 with 32 gigs of RAM is available on B&H as well as the Ultra 9 with the RTX 4070. If you want to check the live pricing and availability, links will be in the description below. Of course, if you use those to make a purchase, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. Absolutely grateful to all extents when you guys use those as it keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Now, because I didn't want to reveal the laptop earlier, let's get into the build quality and assembly. Again, magnesium alloy chassis. The bottom cover and side panel is secured very nicely together on the front side. I don't love how it's pulled together on the back side. It comes to a really sharp edge here. It's just not my favorite design, how they put it to such a sharp 90 degree angle. I like more of the rounded edges. So personal preference there. As mentioned, big vent along the bottom cover. However, one thing is when you pull the bottom cover off, the only thing you'll have access to upgrade is the SSD. There's one M.2 slot that is available for upgrading. There is no opportunity to upgrade the RAM that is soldered to the motherboard. And you can see we have two fans and a heat pipe running through the center. Now we do have speakers along the bottom of the laptop. We do not have speakers along the top cover. Here's a sample of the audio coming out of the speakers. And we do have a webcam on the top bezel. Here's a sample of the webcam in use. This is the webcam on the MSI Prestige AI16 and a little sample of the audio for you as well. Now I would say one thing that I don't love about this laptop is the keyboard. It's just nothing exciting. It's not a bad keyboard. It just doesn't really stand out to me as something that's earth shattering as far as the design is concerned, which is why I said it's the best all around laptop. So the keys are a little bit on the smaller side with a lot of spacing around them. So for my personal preference, I prefer a little bit larger keys with less spacing. You can see we have a full size shift key, which I am very happy about. And we have our smaller arrow keys here with a full size numpad and the trackpad is positioned to the center of the keyboard, not the entire keyboard deck. Nice large trackpad, definitely a great feature here. It is, has a, a nice medium click sound and it's secured very well to the chassis. Here's an audio sample of me using the keyboard and trackpad so you can hear for yourself what they sound like. Now let's talk about the display on this laptop. The MSI Prestige 16 AI comes with a 4K QHD display with a resolution of 3840 by 2400 at 60 hertz refresh rate. Now it can reach 386 nits at full brightness, has 100% sRGB, 98% Adobe RGB, and 99% DCI P3, all at a delta E of 0 0.92. So color accurate, really good brightness, not great brightness, but good brightness. And the, the panel is just so sharp, so crisp. And in such a thin and light laptop, it is incredible. Now, before I get too far away from the keyboard, here's my thoughts on the backlighting of the keyboard. For the keyboard backlighting, you can see in the MSI Center, we have different modes available. You have auto mode, auto turn off after 10 seconds, and always on. I have it set to auto off after 10 seconds. And you can see that the backlighting is not RGB, but I will say as we turn off the light, you can see that we have very even key lighting behind each of the keycaps and not a lot of washout coming out of the keys. So really good job with the backlighting. This is gonna be more of a professional look, not having the RGB. They've gone ahead and decided not to provide RGB, which I think was a great choice being that this is more geared towards creative professionals more professional stylings here, but good job making the backlighting come through clear on each of the keycaps. There's nothing that's washed out. I would say my least favorite thing about this laptop would be this thick plastic bezel around the screen. I think if they did a borderless bezel, it would really make this laptop stand out with a little bit more high quality vibes. It feels a little bit brought down to like the average level laptop with the screen bezel because the screen itself is beautiful. I am amazed they were able to fit an RTX 4070 into such a thin and light chassis. It is a beautiful design. It's so light, portable. I love the SD card reader. It's got a beautiful display for creators, a nice large trackpad, and fantastic battery life. So if you're looking for a great all-around laptop as a creator, you'll be in good hands with the MSI Prestige 16 AI. Links in the description if you're ready to make a purchase, or click or tap the screen here for more videos to help you with your buying decision.